Shut up and take my money! What's up guys, it's your boy Official back here with another video and in today's video, I'm just gonna interject this video for a little bit to show you guys, you know, what's kind of going on in this video, give you a little bit of context, backstory. So basically, uh, we were fishing at this lake in Florida, which was a brand new lake, man-made lake. It had only been there like a year or two, not very long at all. And uh, we went down there and I was fishing off the bank and there was this guy there with a boat, some random guy I'd never met before, and he asked me if I wanted to go out fishing with him. At first, I told him that I couldn't because I probably wasn't going to be there much longer. Then he asked me again later, and I was like, sure. So, come to find out, this guy said that supposedly there was 2 million bass stocked into this lake. Like I said, it had only been there for probably two years at most. The crazy thing, though, the absolutely wild thing, is that this guy had told me that last spring or winter, he had caught a 15-pound bass out of that lake. He said it was the lake record, and he he said he hadn't seen anybody break that record since. He told me that usually when he goes out on that lake and has a bad day of fishing, he still catches like a dozen fish. We only caught a few fish. Uh, I didn't get them all on camera, but here is basically a little bit of that experience for you guys to see what it was like. It was a pretty crazy idea to me because, you know, the last time I had gone fishing with a random person, I was probably like six years old. So, you know, this was fun. Uh, I didn't record the whole, you know, all the conversations with this guy and everything, but this guy was very smart when it came to bass fishing. He knew a lot and he fished that lake pretty often, it sounded like. So he even got to talk to professional fishermen that are, that compete in major league fishing. So that was cool. And he gave me some tips and tricks on basically bass fishing and you know what Florida fishing was like. So hopefully you guys enjoy this short video, part six, and stay tuned for parts seven through 10. Peace. No, not really. My family does a lot. I just so, fish. The way I can relate fishing is in terms of hunting, especially deer. Deer always follow an edge, and so do bass. They'll follow a, you know, a forest edge, a creek edge. Deer, bass are the same way. Right. So if I'm fishing with somebody that hunt, they can get it right away if I explain it in terms of deer hunting. So we've gone from fishing deep to shallow. The deepest here now is only four foot. Apparently the fish are somewhat shallow. Yeah, they don't they don't go there's really not much deep water in Florida lakes. There's a couple of deep water lakes. This one's you know, this is artificial. It's a dug. Those deep trenches were dug. Wonder how they got bass in here. They stocked it. I think with two million bass or something like that. I was gonna say there's must be far more than that now. Yeah, it could be. The problem is you 
problem is there's a, there's a lot of competition for those bass in here. So, you know, there's thick rope, which that is the biggest. Gar, a lot of gar, a lot of bowfin. Oh, there is? Way bigger than the one I saw the other day. This is too cold for me to get in the pool right there. Get active. Yeah. I'm just kind of hang out here. Do whatever you want to. Is that a peacock? Yeah. Those aren't in here. Uh, not that I'm aware of. I haven't heard of anybody catching a peacock. Wow. That is a mess. Oh. Yeah, he's a little bigger, I think. Yeah. Perhaps. That was a good hook set. Always, you know what? Always give yourself at least a rod's length of line. You got uh, wiggle room with them. You want to pie? Yeah, I might need players for. There's another you one. You got right a good there. grip on them? Yeah. There's one. Whoop, my God. There goes one right behind us. Yeah, no telling. You know, typically bass do not jump for joy. Or to make anything jump. Yeah. It's usually not a bass. The only time I know for certain it's a bass is if I see minnows popping out of the mm -hmm. water and you see them trying to feed on them. Then I know that's bass. But they don't usually make any movement unless they're trying to eat something. All right guys, this is day number six. We're at a new place now for the remainder of the trip. We're gonna be trying to catch whatever lives in this river. Oh, it's a fish, it's a fish. Got him. He's on. What is that? It looks like we're already getting another fish. New species. Oh, okay. That was a nice pull. Got him. <laughs> 